morning my chefies it's like 5 30 in the morning i'm up getting my day started and i just wanted to say because my nephew was editing my video and he's like auntie i didn't even know that wasn't your ponytail man like that's a, that was a little shocking for me and i'm like what eat it i mean I used to have longer hair that was about down to here, but I ain't never had no 26 and 32 inches since I was like a little, little girl. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to maintain that type of crop. But I said to him, man, beauty is pain. And I know, I know I look better with the weave ponytail in, which it's going to be getting put back in because I got an interview, a food interview later, and, you know, I want to look good, you know. And I look good with the curly hair too. But, man, beauty hurts, and I'm trying to figure out why does beauty have to hurt? Like, that ponytail makes, like, a knot on my head. I look good, but it hurts. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out how many other women out there can relate you know what i'm saying i was really late to the weave game thank god because i think if i would have known about weaves and understood it at a younger age i wouldn't have no edges i would be fucking bald this is for show though you know what i'm saying but yeah i just wanted to just let y'all know that i i don't like unsolicited advice i don't need you to tell me that i look better with the ponytail i know that but i look good without the ponytail and my hair is my hair does look good you know what i'm saying the ponytail would get put back in i just wanted to address that since my nephew pointed out to me you you know that it was a little shocking uh, not to have the ponytail oh crr. Also, let's just go ahead and address the fact that, yes, I am mixed biracial. My mama was white. So there's a lot of things like black hair that I did not understand. Like the first time I wore weave, I think I was 26 years old for, was it 26? 26? I think it was 26 when I was working um, with Floyd Mayweather for one of his fights. I finally went and got a full head weave and had never had one before, ever. So, you know, being biracial is a whole nother bag of chicks. Ah, we'll go over on another episode, but I just wanted to say, you know, when you biracial sometimes, you catch up to the black side late. In some areas, you know, shit, if you was growing up with the white parent, you, you know, because they don't know, man. They don't know. My mom was using, like, Johnson & Johnson's detangler and shit in my hair when I was young. Like, she ain't even know, you know what I'm saying? But when do we ever really talk about those type of issues? You know, a white woman trying to raise a black child, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, black family, you know, disrespecting the biracial kids because they don't like the white mama or think that because you mix, you're supposed to be treated like a punk. You know what I'm saying? Those are conversations for other days that we really will address. But for now, I caught up to the weave game late because my mama ain't know no better. And it probably worked in my favor because I still got my edges. You dig? You dig? Like I told y'all when we originally started working out, two episodes ago uh, for you all. If you follow us on Instagram, you will see that we post workouts four to five days a week um, for a total of 90 minutes. But we are removing one exercise per circuit just to give y'all exclusively. So we're never giving you content that you're gonna go find on Instagram because why would you do that? Why would you do that? That'd just be dumb. Just be dumb, yo, are you dumb? Okay. Yo, what? Whoa, what? Are, okay, so we're about to get into, we about to get into it. Turn on, oh yeah, y'all can't, can't play the music for y'all yet. But if you tune into Instagram, you can catch the vibes. Wow. It was ready like what? Fish and spaghetti. Fish and spaghetti. <laughs> hey, I love fish and spaghetti. You know, my daddy used to eat that all the time. Fried catfish and spaghetti. I think it was like a shy town thing. Chicago niggas. I don't know where it's from. I got it from Mace or Diddy. Mace or Diddy. G Dep. G Dep. G Dep. It's the hoe and Diddy Bop. You know, Mace was in there. Get, make that shit. Uh, take that. Uh, oh, ooh, that was a hell of a run. Okay. Ooh, bad boy had that shit lit. 
focus. Okay, let's focus. Okay. Okay. All right. What are we doing? So today we're doing the squatting kettlebell chop. All right. So you squat down, bring your arm over your shoulder, bring it back. You're not twisting your upper body. You're literally just taking the kettlebell and bringing it over your shoulder. So you call it like a chop because it's kind of like chopping that wood. Yes. With the axe. Yes. Bam. Big arms. Big arms. Big. big core. Big booties. Big things. We want the butts. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's chop those people off. Chop them off. Cut the cord. Right over the shoulder. Ain't nothing to talk about. It's done. <laughs> oh, You're done. You're done, son. There we go. So what are we working out? Um, you're working out your butt. You're working out your core, um, your shoulders. Oh, yeah, you said the butt. The butt, the butt. Yes. Drop it like it's hot. All right. All right, I'm out of breath. <laughs> what, uh, what are we doing next? We are going to do hanging power snatches. All right. Um, so you're going to bring the bar right above your knee. You're going to big shrug and snatch it up over your head. That was in a proper landing. So you bring it down. Yeah, because you're looking yeah. like you're going to mess my back up. What is this little <laughs> sumo squat bullshit? I just came up on my toes. But you're supposed to say nice and flat, a big high pull up the body, and bring it directly over your head. And what is this working out, though? Um, Butt, back, and core. Same things. Okay. We need something that's not the same thing than the last, okay? Okay, we need some variety. What are you doing? And now you're dancing like a lollipop kid. <laughs> so, as you can see on that last exercise, I couldn't really talk and engage. I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk and engage on this right here. Oh, you done? Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to need you to do a little bit more to explain to my chefies what's going on. Wait, can we get that pose again? Can we get... Okay. All right. Now, what are we about to do? All right. We are going to do single arm Smith machine rows. All right. That, see, it's always a mouthful, man, and I be feeling like you're doing too much. Listen, I don't make the exercises up. I just want to give people clear names. You do make clear. them up. Right, I do, but I don't know if there's a real name for this. This is the name that we're going to go with. Okay, dog, let's go. <laughs> it's just a Smith machine row. That's all. Bring your arm up. Your back is nice and flat. I have my hand here for support so I don't hinge over. Um, bring your hinge or up. hunch over? Hunch, hunch. Okay. <laughs> I just want to make it make sense, baby. No, it's, you use the right word. I Talk louder, word. please, so the people can hear you. Um, all right, so you lean forward, your back is aligned with your hips. You bring your arm up, you extend it back down, bring it up, bring it back down. Nice and easy. Shoulder it's not back. easy. <laughs> it is easy. Back and shoulder act. <laughs> Muscle. Ooh. Strong. I need to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I'm going to be having a special guest coming over, Propane of We Global Management. He is one of the top managers, extraordinary. He does a little bit of everything. He's worked with Gucci Mane, um, uh, Future, uh, uh, Mike Will. He's, he's worked with everybody. So he's going to be coming by and joining us for lunch. And the recipe that I'm going to provide to you guys are these um, <clears throat> braised lamb shanks. So we're gonna put some Hennessy, chicken broth, uh, stewed tomatoes, peppers, green peppers, garlic, rosemary, oregano. We have some bay leaves here. Uh, red onion, fresh thyme. We're gonna use uh, flour to thicken everything up. And we are going to do a roasted garlic to go with these uh, northern beans as a side. And um, yeah, so let's get into the braising part of the lamb shanks. Heat your oil just until it's smoking like so. 
and heavily salt and pepper your shanks and you're gonna brown them on each side. We're gonna let this heat up for about 30 seconds before we add in the second shank. Now the shanks have an amazing color all around them. And I also did the tops of the meat because, duh, that's where the flavor is. Now with the pan drippings and everything still in the pot, we're just gonna add a little bit more oil. And then we are going to add our onions, celery, carrots, and pepper. salt and pepper and then we are going to cover the meat while it's just here and rest and once we take the foil off of the plate there's going to be all these juices collected on the plate that we're going to pour back in here okay be back in a minute save the vegetables for about three minutes and now i'm adding the garlic and i'll saute the garlic for a minute and then we'll start adding these other ingredients along with the meat and the herbs. Okay, chefies, thanks for staying tuned in to the game. So we are now at the stage where we are going to add these shanks back. Let's collect some of the juices. And then we wanna add the flour. And the flour is what's gonna thicken this up. The complete recipe is in the is in the description or comment section, um, so that's where y'all can find it. I'm not sure if y'all figured that out yet. Um, so I'm about to brown these up, brown this flour, so that we can take out the chalky taste, and then we'll be adding the chicken stock, the um, tomatoes, Hennessy, and we're gonna add a little bouillon, a little bit of bouillon as well, and the herbs. That looks gross, but it is what it is. It's a lamb. Brown the flour so it'll give it a depth of flavor. And now we are going to add three cups of chicken stock. We'll add about a cup of cognac. Hennessy, preferably. And here are the can of diced tomatoes. These are actually fire roasted too. I like fire roasted because they have better flavor. And then we have our, we're doing a chicken bouillon because I ain't got no beef bouillon and it's not like it really matters because it's still meat, bruh. And the guest eats chicken, so we're good. So we're just gonna bring this up to a simmer and then we're gonna cover it. Add the herbs, more salt and pepper, cause you need flavor. Here are the herbs. And then we're gonna put it in the oven for two and a half hours on 350 degrees. Cover it, put it in the oven, and cook it for two and a half hours. After 45 minutes, I will flip these babies and show you what I'm looking like. Chefies, it's 45 minutes later. I'm just taking the lamb shanks out of the oven from braising. Ooh. So we will flip them. Oh, oh, well, everything can't be perfect all the time. Flip these over. Flip this one over. Move all of our veggies around. Ooh. Peppers are so beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna put it back in for another 45 minutes. Ooh, braised lamb shanks. Get into it, chefies. Get into the dish. Chef life. Appetizer for propane. I'm going to do some truff hot sauce. This is a hot sauce made with black truffle. 
This stuff is so bomb. Truff hot sauce. You should get some. Mm -hmm. So in here we have minced garlics, a little bit of thyme, lemon zest. I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice. I put a little bit of salt and pepper mix and because I'm going to kind of do like a lemon pepper type of marinade on here. So we want the extra pepper. And then we are adding um, the classic spice blend from the Spice Suite. This is their classic signature spice, um, www.thespicesweet.com. Again, black owned, so bomb. And then I'm about to mix this up and marinate it, you know what I'm saying? And then this is gonna be with, these, with the Trev Hunt says, we're gonna have some bomb wings for propane. Okay. Propane's uh, appetizer. I'm gonna be doing these baked truff hot sauce chicken wings and we're gonna put this with a citrus salad. I'm not giving you these recipes because I'm doing the shanks for y'all. But I just am giving y'all a heads up on everything else I'm doing. We'll get this recipe another day. But I like to bake my wings because I'm really not about that fried life. That time to get these wings done. They have been baking on 400 for 45 minutes and we are going to put it with the truff hot sauce and some butter to help it coat and stick. And this is the appetizer for a propane of We Global Bandage Bit. We about to get into a nice little conversation real quick. And I'll tune back in when I'm plating this. Or actually, let me show y'all a little wrist work. A little wrist work first, you know what I'm saying? A little wrist work. The side for the shanks is going to be some uh, great northern beans. I'm gonna end up mashing these, but we're gonna saute some onions. We're gonna saute some onions and then we're going to add in a little bit of minced garlic after three minutes. And we, I roasted this garlic. I told y'all I was gonna put roasted garlic in it. It'll have chicken broth, a little bit of chicken base. And at the end, I'm gonna hit it with a splash of heavy cream to give it some nice creaminess, butter and rosemary and lemon zest. It's gonna be full of lemon and rosemary flavor. Um, I went kind of Mediterranean with the shank, so we're going to stay with the flavor profile with the white beans. Okay. I forgot to mention that I already drained and rinsed these. Um, these are soaked in water, but I still don't like the flavor of the water. It tastes weird to me. So drain and soak them. Um, I'm only verbally giving you the recipe. Again, the recipe with the directions are going to be for One the One can shank. of beans, I'm going to add probably about a cup and a half of chicken stock. And let these simmer down for 30 minutes. Got a teaspoon of bouillon. And we'll go add the roasted garlic, the lemon zest, and the chopped rosemary at the very end with the splash of the um with the splash of the heavy cream. We'll do that before we puree the mix. Okay, so we're just gonna simmer this for 30 Finish minutes. These uh, truff, bomb truff hot wings off. I'm going to toss them with a little more lemon zest and chopped thyme. That I must love you, right? Cause you about to get some real work up in this kitchen. These are truffle, truffle hot wings. This truff hot sauce is $32. It ain't cheap, you know what I'm saying? Like my fees, my fees ain't cheap. You know what I'm saying? So if you book me, you gotta rub me my money. Okay, so we done plated these truffle hot sauce wings for propane. And we have a citrus caracara orange salad with arugula roasted cauliflower. And these cucumbers have been um, marinating in a dill red wine vinaigrette. Chef life! What view is, man? Man, it's dope. It's like a sweet spice. It's a sweet spice? Yeah. Very good. You like it, even though it's a little fancy with it, right? You got the salad going on, you know what I mean? A little healthy, a little healthy delight. Nice little appetizer. Yo, I was trying to lick my finger. Oh, man. <laughs> Chucky, what are you doing? Can you leave him alone? <laughs> uh, northern beans well, have been simmering for time. about 30 minutes, and I removed the stems of the rosemary, so I'm about to puree them here. And then I'm going to add a splash of the heavy cream 
and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And I'll get back to y'all when I'm putting the lemon zest and the rosemary in here. Steffi's, the lamb shanks are done and so are the white beans. So we're about to plate. So here we go. We're gonna get all of this goodness. All of this goodness is gonna go on the plate, okay? So here is Propane's entree. I made him a uh, braised lamb shank with some whipped white beans, northern white beans, and this recipe is going up on my YouTube today. How do I start this? This is amazing. How do you start it? Ooh, yeah, look at that. Out. Ooh, it's so tender. You just using it, you don't even need a knife. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. Thank you, P. Propane. If he says it's good, it's good money. This means that there's bags here. Bags on bags on bags. Are we about to get that black Martha Stewart money? Are you ready to collect some change with That's me, bro? That's what I'm over here for. We doing a cooking show. We doing a cooking show? The real show. You definitely going to be managing me or something? I mean, come on, man. I'm your executive producer. Okay. Let's get back to this. Y'all heard it here first. Heard it here first. We manifest in a whole show. Please believe it's coming. We need the bags. Okay, so I thought I'd come around and do some official questions with propane while I got him because he's about to rush off to another bag. I'm a bag for the future, and he got some bomb food, but he about to go get some real money for today. So I really appreciate you coming through. <laughs> and he said I swindled him in to an interview because he don't give out interviews, so I must really I've be never special. Done an interview before you got it. Okay, so here's the thing with propane, right? Propane has been behind everybody. Like I said earlier, early days. Let's not say the names. Well, okay, well, I said the names earlier. He don't want me to refer to them now. But what I will say is, can I talk about the day we met a little bit briefly? Yeah. Okay, so I met him, I think it was 2013, um, maybe 2014. I was out kicking it with one of my homegirls, and we linked up with Gucci, Gucci man. And at the time, Propane and Coach K were managing, representing something. Well, Coach was managing them, and I was doing, like, road managing and DJing. And stuff. So, Propane was road managing and doing all the other stuff, and then Coach K was managing... Uh, Coach K is Coach K. He's the man. Coach K is the man. I didn't know who nobody was except for Gucci, okay? And when I hopped in the whip, within 10 minutes, we was Zooming somewhere else. So, we were supposed to go with them to a few shows. That was the thing. He was supposed to do a few club appearances, do a little rah-rah, collect his, his bags, and we were supposed to go about our business. Now, this is before Gooch got clean, which I'm so happy where he's at in his life. He's made amazing changes. Salute, Gucci man. Salute to the health and staying clear within his mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm God bless. I'm so proud of him. Um... Um, you know, it might have been my introduction to, you know, I don't know who had it or how it ended up in the, in the juice, but it turned into Molly water. And that was my first and last time. Um, I'm not really a person that does drugs, especially our drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like that ain't my thing. So I ended up being awake for three days, but not only was I flying, zooming out of my mind, this guy Gooch was tripping, man. He don't remember none of it, but I do. It was my first interaction. And I didn't say who had who who had it or who was brandishing them or what was going on. I just know that I wasn't in my mind, really, to be dealing with that. And so that was my introduction to him. Uh, and, you know, after that night, uh, you know, we always have been able to keep in, keep in contact, especially when I was going back and forth with working with Floyd Mayweather. And we'd be seeing each other in L.A., Vegas, and now we've been catching up out here. And I always say to Propane, man, you've been behind everybody doing everything. Even though he doesn't want me to name it, you can get your Googles on. And I'm like, you need to get your shine, man. We need to, we need to, even if you don't want to get in the front of the camera, everybody needs to know who this man is. Because he's behind everybody mm -hmm. in the mix. 
And you also were the one that hooked me up with Mike Will for New Year's because Mike Will needed a chef last minute. And Propane called me to get a bag for the New Year. To get a bag for the New Year. So thank you for for looking out. Hey, what kind of say? She the best. She the best. Yeah. The best. I had to put that call in. You dig what I'm saying? I'm the best. Me. So so what do you think of the food, Propane? Man, it's crazy. What do you think that's crazy about it? I mean, just the way everything melds together. Like, the asparagus is like... One with everything else. It's all just like one just smorgasbord of just food. Have yeah. you ever had whipped white beans before? No, I haven't. You haven't? Mm -mm. That's bomb. This shit's good as fuck. Yeah. I think everything went together well. He told me that he likes lamb chops. So I told him I got him. He told me he liked chicken and lamb chops. So this is what I created based off of that. All I ever want for people to tell me is what they're allergic to, what they hate, and what they love. And then just let me create. Like, I'm an artist. I don't need you telling me how to do what I do. This ain't Burger King. It's definitely not, it's definitely not like a uniform meal. Like, uh, street beans, a steak, mashed potatoes. No, none of that. All of this is like... You ain't getting this nowhere else. Mm -mm. And I created the menu just for y'all for the shanks. These shanks... You, you ain't finding this on Google. Well, you go, you, you're going to after I upload it. You, you know what I'm saying? But y'all are getting custom, gourmet, everything, man. Exclusive. And I'm cooking with... Cooking this, for propane. Kicking, cooking for propane. Propane. Look out oh. for my show. Cooking with propane. Cooking with propane is going to be coming. And um, it's supposed to be aligning with me. So we're going to see how that play out. We're going we gonna to see if he mm -hmm. line it up with me. If he if he know where the bag is, he going to come in my direction. You know what I'm saying? I dig you. All right. Well, I hope you have an amazing day. And I really appreciate you giving me a few moments of your time. I really appreciate the meal. Yeah. It's beautiful. Thanks. Thank you. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for checking in, chefies. Till next time. Uh... This is very good. I wasn't ready for it. You weren't? You're going to be thinking about this shit later, bro. I wasn't ready. I'd just like to say that I in no way encourage the use of drugs. Like, I, I don't. But I'm 37 years old, and I've lived. <laughs> I've lived my life, okay? And I'm a very transparent person, and... I'm not a person where you ever gonna be able to use me against me. Ain't no surprises. I've already done told you. It's already, you gonna hear it from me before you hear it from everybody else. You understand me? It's in me. It ain't on me, you know? Okay? I just wanted to say, I'm, kids, don't do, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. And my story was saying, I was up for three days. Like, who wants, who wants that? Like, whoo! Be mindful of who you surround yourself with. Be mindful of what you decide to try. Be mindful. You don't miss what you don't know. You can think about it, but you don't miss it. Then once your body and your mind know something, it can start missing it and wanting it or whatever. That's how addictions start. I do not support the use or encourage the use of drugs, okay?